Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll show you how I painted Gan A from the Core Space Sci Fi Miniatures game to a tabletop ready standard using contrast paints. Here's the miniature we'll be painting in the video, and I'll go through it step by step so you can see exactly how it's done. But you can apply these techniques to all the miniatures that come in that core set. And I'll be doing videos for the majority of them so you can follow along and give it a try yourself. But I definitely recommend painting the miniatures up. It's a huge improvement, doesn't take long at all with this contrast method. And I think pretty much anybody could do this. So the techniques we'll be using are super easy, designed for real beginner painters and pretty much the simplest way that you could go about painting these miniatures and getting them tabletop ready really quickly but having a fun time doing it. Okay so let's get started and here I've got this little miniature holder from Games Workshop but I'm just going to put some blue tack on it and just hold the miniature down instead just to protect the base and I've primed this model already with the Wraithbone Contrast Undercoat Spray, no glue or assembly required and in this video we'll be mostly using contrast paints with some Agrax Earthshade and some layer paints as well. And the brush I'll be using is the number two size Kolinsky Synthetic Brush, and this is a great brush for this size model. And here we go, let's get started, and we'll go straight in with some Contrast Orc Flesh, and this is a nice bright green that we're gonna paint on all the skin areas that we can see on the model, and this will include the head, arms, and the legs, and you just wanna give it a nice even coat all over. We're just gonna do one coat of this, and this is gonna go into all those recesses. So just start and end your brush strokes where you want most of that paint to finish up, and then just move the rest of the paint around those areas, pushing and pulling the paint with your brush. And it's really great to work with this contrast paint. It takes a little while to dry when we do it like this, so you've got lots of time. Then we're gonna take some Griff Hound Orange, and we're gonna paint the jacket. There's a little trim around the jacket that we're gonna try and avoid. So I'll start with the arms first. And the same thing, we start and end our brush stroke where we want most of the paint to build up. Use the contours and texture of the model to get the paint off the brush and then let it do its thing. That contrast paint really wants to run into those recesses. So just let it do it. And then when it dries, you get a nice shadow. And on the larger, flatter areas, it tends to dry a little bit thinner to give the idea that you've got a little highlight and on models like this that we just want to get done quickly and tabletop ready this method is perfect so here i'm just taking my time now just leaving that little trim around the jacket so we can paint that in another color later on but don't worry if you make a little mistake or go over the lines because we can tidy it up really quickly and easily with a little bit of wraithbone base paint Next, I'm going to take some Ayandan Yellow, another contrast, and this is going to be for this kind of skirt material. And so we're going to give that a nice coat. And again, just try and work it into the areas where you would imagine there would be a shadow. So any recesses, just put a little bit extra paint in there. But on the larger areas that would get a natural highlight, just move that paint and spread it around. But you can see there, the paint's already starting to build up in those recesses on its own. So really great to work with. And if you haven't painted many miniatures before, this is a great way to get started and get some results quite easily and quickly that you'd be happy with and happy to play on the table. So continue with this now, and then we'll move on to the base Wraithbone paint. And once this, these other paints have dried, we can just go in and just tidy up any little area. So I went over the line a little bit there, and so also on the jacket, I'm just gonna go along the lapel a little bit. And it really is painting by numbers this, but we wanna keep it nice and crisp and neat. And so where each color goes on, it goes on really tidy. Next, we're gonna take the Basilicanum Gray, and this is gonna be for the trousers and these little straps that go around the kind of calves. And we're also gonna use this paint to do all the trim along the jacket and that skirt. And if you haven't played Core Space yet, I definitely recommend giving it a go. It's an awesome game and you can check out how to play on my channel. I've got a rules guide there so you can see exactly how to play where we work our way through the rule book. But this is one of the NPCs from the game and um, you interact with him with your crew and uh, it's got little mechanics in the game that make it really interesting. So definitely recommend giving it a go but check out those how to play videos if you haven't seen them already and I've also painted all the other miniatures too. Right now we're going to go on to some contrast black Templar and this is just going to be a little quick paint on the little shoes that he's got so just at the bottom there one on each foot give that a little paint and a nice even coat of the black Templar. Then once it's completely dried, we take some Agrax Earthshade and we're gonna go over the orange jacket. And this is just gonna bring out those deeper recesses a little bit more and also dirty it up a bit. They're in space, 
they're in these like space stations these environments there's gunfire there's all sorts going on so they're not going to be pristine and so this agrax earthshade really dirties it up but also brings all those creases together and really makes it stand out a little bit more and also along the edges here on the trousers we're going to use that just to deepen those shadows a little bit i'm not going to go over the yellow though i want to keep that as it is i think that's worked really nicely with that one coat then we're going to take some sky gray by vallejo but any base paint will do and we're simply going to give one nice coat over the whole base and the rim of the base and this is going to match the colors on the game board and so i've kept it really simple because i want that game board to stand out and there we go there's gane all completely finished and this is such a quick and easy way to get some tabletop ready miniatures painted really fast and have a good time doing it and i think if you haven't painted before this method is definitely the way to go and here you can see all the other miniatures that have been painted in the same style basically just blocking in those colors and then going over the whole thing with a shade with that null oil and that ties it all in together and dirties it up a little bit as if they've been encountering some battles in space um, so really simple really quick and easy and i hope you give it a go for your models if you pick up the core set I'm really excited to be collaborating with the team at Battle Systems who developed the Core Space Sci-Fi Miniatures game. And so I can definitely recommend going to their website at battlesystems.co.uk and checking out all the products they've got for the space, uh, Core Space range. It's an awesome game. And if you've seen the video already, you'll know that the unboxing is fantastic. The contents you get in there are just great. And the terrain for the game is a huge feature and it's incredible. I mean, for the, the size of the box you get and for the price, you get a ton of terrain. You can see everything in this picture here is included in that core set on a two foot by two foot gaming mat. That comes with it as well. You get all this terrain and all the scattered terrain as well. Tons of tokens and everything you need for the game. And it looks like it's going to be really fun. And I can't wait to share all the rules with you on the channel as part of this core space series and also go through some battle reports and some demo games. If you'd like to pick up your own copy of Core Space, then I'll put links in the description below and there'll be links to battlesystems.co.uk where you can get the full range and also Element Games where you can save up to 20% on all your game products. And in the meantime, if you've already got the game, then come and check out my other videos where I paint the Harvester, the Devastator and the Assassin. And I'll put all the paints I've used in this video in the description below too and I'll put a link for those to Element Games as well and that's an affiliate link but it won't cost you anything extra in fact you can save 20% there on all your game products and for every sale made through a link I get a small commission and that helps me do loads more videos like this so thanks so much for the support in the channel I really appreciate it. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description. And it'll be great to see you there. I hope you enjoyed the video and I really hope you give it a go painting your miniatures. And, you know, this is a really simple, easy techniques to use. And with those contrast paints, I don't think you can go wrong. I hope you enjoyed this video from the Core Space series. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games.